Let's jump in! Today, Peppa's Playgroup are performing a play. Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a big, tall tower with a princess oh. locked up inside. Oh, no! I am trapped! Somebody help me! It's Rapunzel, my favourite fairy tale. The princess was locked up by an evil witch. I want to be a sunflower instead, please. <laughs> OK. The princess was locked up by an oh. evil sunflower. Oh. The playgroup has Whoa. changed the fairy tale a little bit. Princess, let down your hair, please. Ha! <laughs> Uh-oh. Gerald Giraffe has forgotten to put on his princess wig. Will keep you locked up forever! Ha ha! <gasps> oh no! If only there was a hero to save me! I said, if only there was a hero to save me! Whoop! I'll save the princess! Nido! 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 got stuck in an evil web. <gasps> um, but luckily a fairy's here to rescue him. Can I borrow this? Oh. Whoosh! Uh, uh, Whoosh! Uh -huh. Now the hero is... Oh! Whoops! <laughs> Sorry. Carry on! Ahem! Uh, now the hero is free! Thank you, Fairy Pepper! But what about the evil sunflower? <laughs> Roar! Oh, um, the fairy turned the evil sunflower into a uh, teddy. <gasps> <Zzz. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> now the princess can go to the pool. And eat this apple. Huh? Like Snow White? Now you can go to the ball and jump in all the muddy puddles. <laughs> 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 and they live happily ever after. Peppa and her friends love putting on plays and Madame Gazelle really loves watching them. The treasure train is on its way! Choo-choo! Yay! Peppa Pig and Danny Dog are driving a train full of gold. Silver and... Broccoli! <laughs> Is broccoli treasure? Yes. It's special broccoli made of sparkly diamonds. Pepper <laughs> and Danny aren't really driving a train. They're using their imagination to pretend. Hooray! Stop! <gasps> In the name of... Um... Robbers! <gasps> oh no! Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are pretending to be train robbers. Can we have all your treasure, please? <laughs> no. Oh, OK. <laughs> You're supposed to steal the treasure, Susie. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Robbers. Now Peppa and Danny are pretending to be police officers. They're going to catch the robbers. Hey. You caught us. No, we didn't. Because, um... Ha! Your boat can fly! 
fly. Um, Madame Gazelle, can ships fly? Real ships cannot fly. Oh. But pretend ships certainly can. Hooray! Wow! Now Pedro and Susie are in a flying boat. Oh, um... <gasps> Our train can fly too! Whee! Police officers Pepper and Danny have almost caught the robbers. <gasps> um, dying. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Is it a giant? <gasps> no, it's a daddy pig. And he's coming to take you home. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? We're pretending to fly our boats and trains, Yay! Daddy. <laughs> oh, my! What an imaginative bunch you all are. Oh, aha! Peppa loves imagining things. Everyone loves imagining things. Peppa Pig and her friends are at the aquarium today. They're all pretending to be fish. Meow, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> This is an octopus. It has eight long wibbly wobbly legs. Ooh. Actually, an octopus only has two wibbly wobbly legs. The other six are wibbly wobbly arms. Rip wobb, rip Wow! I wish I had a rainbow tail. <gasps> Let's be mermaids, Susie. <laughs> but we don't have mermaid tails. But we can pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Peppa Whee! and Susie are pretending they are mermaids with long, lovely tails. Hello, seahorses. We can swim around just like you. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> <gasps> it's so pretty! What is it? This is an oyster. <laughs> it has a pearl inside. <gasps> a pearl? <gasps> What's a pearl? It's a very lovely shiny object. Can we open it and see it? An oyster only opens when it's ready, so we'll just have to be patient. Hmm. I can't see the pearl. Excuse me, Mr. Oyster. Can you open, please? We're being really patient. <laughs> Can you go, ah, like at the dentist? Hmm. Um. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not working. <gasps> it's so jiggly. <laughs> Let's tickle it open. Mermaid Pepper and Mermaid Susie are trying to tickle the oyster so it'll open. They tickle and tickle and tickle, but the oyster still won't open. It's not working. We'll never see the pearl. We'll just have to wait. <sighs> It's the pearl! It's so pretty! <laughs> the oyster has finally opened. The pearl inside is very lovely indeed. Aww. Rip wob, rip wob! But I want to see the pearl. Can we make it open, please? <laughs> no, Danny. Oh. We have to be patient. Everyone knows that being patient can be tricky, but Pepper and Susie know that the very lovely pearl will be worth the wait. Hooray! Whee! It is bedtime, but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Pepper or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? 
Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Oh! <laughs> Dory! Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Pepper! <laughs> um, yes, Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. Uh -oh. <laughs> Until one day, she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Uh, like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Mr. Dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> the bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Pepper. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish <sighs> the story? Four tickets, please. Four popcorns, please. Four drinks, please. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the cinema. Peppa's favourite book has been made into a movie. <laughs> Silly George, we're not seeing that scary ghost movie. Ours is really fun and not scary. Scary ghost <laughs> movies are only for grown-ups. Uh, oh, excuse me. Excuse Sorry. me. Uh, oh. Sorry. <sighs> <sighs> the seats in the cinema all fold up when they're not being used. But George's seat is folding up when he's sitting in it. Excuse me, coming through. Watch your toes. Luckily, Miss Rabbit has a special booster to hold the seat flat. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. No problem. Me again. <gasps> Who spilled popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> George doesn't like it when the cinema gets dark. Whoosh, whoosh. Yay, it's starting! <gasps> Sorry! <laughs> George doesn't like the loud sounds either. Oh dear, George thinks the baddie in the movie is a bit scary. Maybe we should take George outside. But you can't miss the movie. Oh! Pepper has thought of a way to make the baddie less scary for George. Hello, George, it's me. I'm just pretending to be a buddy for the movie. I'm not really scary. Not Scary? No. And this magic wand oh. will keep you extra safe. Way! 
Wash. <laughs> Wash. <laughs> Plus, at the end of the story, everyone lives happily ever after. Ooh, happy! <laughs> Wash. <gasps> Sorry. Everyone loves going to the cinema, and George really loves movies with happy endings. Today, Peppa and George are playing grown-ups. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown-up? Dinosaur! George wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, 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 all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? <gasps> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't go to the dentist. <laughs> they go to Dr Hamster the vet. <laughs> but you can have a sticker anyway. I think you'd make a very good dentist. <laughs> and you'd be an excellent dinosaur, George. But I'd also like to be a bus driver. Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, <laughs> the park. Stop! <gasps> you forgot us! Come back! <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. <laughs> then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> <laughs> dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. Today, Peppa and her class are going on a school trip. Hello, everyone. Who's ready for a school trip in my lovely new yellow bus? Oh, what happened to your old blue bus, Miss Rabbit? It broke down at the weekend whilst I was taking a nice, relaxing drive. Oh dear! Miss Rabbit's bus is unable to race! So it's in the garage for some small repairs. That bus is going to need some big repairs! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her friends have never been on a big yellow bus before. Seatbelt check! Check. Then off we go! <laughs> Whoops! Let's try again. Miss Rabbit isn't used to driving the yellow bus. The yellow bus Ooh. is a bit fast for Madam Gazelle. can do lots of things. It can do this, 
this. Oh. This. Oh. And of course, this. The yellow bus can play music very loudly. Could we turn the music down a little bit? Of course, Madam Gazelle. Aww. Why don't we sing a song instead? The yellow bus wheels go round and round. Round and round, round and round. round, and round. The yellow bus wheels go round, round and round all day long. Play I Spy. Good idea. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with R. Road. Nope. <coughs> Rabbit. Nope. It's a really big lorry. Oh. Hello, Mr. Ball. Hello. Peppa's playgroup have arrived for their school trip, so it's time to get off the bus. Oh, I wish we could stay on the yellow bus all day. Don't worry, I'll be back in the bus to take you all home later. Everyone likes riding in the big yellow bus. Everyone except Madam Gazelle. <laughs> Are volcanoes real, Madam Gazelle? They are. Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except the little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh. We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper. Like this. First, you dip the paper in the glue. And then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila! A volcano! Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> and soon they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children! Now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make ours red, Peppa. <laughs> ours can be blue! Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. But Peppa and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. <laughs> now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. <laughs> First, we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, mm. Perfect. And now I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back. Madam Gazelle's volcano is erupting, just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red. Ours <laughs> is blue. Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. I think we made too much lava. No, Candy. You made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes, but everyone really loves making colourful muddy puddles. Today, Peppa is playing with her toy blocks. <gasps> ah! Oop! Careful, George. 
This is a very small town and you're a very giant dinosaur. That gives me an idea. Do you want to play giants, George? <laughs> George is very excited to play giants with Pepper. Hello, Police Officer Panda. What a lovely, quiet, normal day in Toyland. <laughs> and definitely no sign of... <gasps> Hello, I am Giant Pepper. <gasps> a giant! Two giants! <laughs> Pepper and George are imagining their giants in a pretend <laughs> toy block world. Hello, birds! Hello, clouds! <gasps> Hello, everyone! <gasps> <gasps> Our ball is stuck in that very tall tree. We can help you with that. We are very tall giants. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, careful, George. <laughs> there you go, Susie. Hooray! <laughs> giant Pepper and Giant George love to help their friends in Toyland. <gasps> They help the passengers Whee! to get on the bus. Oh, wee! <laughs> wee! <laughs> and help the boats go very, very fast. <laughs> Stop! <gasps> it's the bridge you broke earlier. Oh. Don't worry. We can fix it. <laughs> Pepper and George are experts with toy blocks. They fix the toy bridge in no time at all. Thanks, Giant Pepper and Giant George. Stop! Uh, I mean, go! Hooray! 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 Oh, goody! Hungry. I'm hungry too. The food in Toyland is too small for Giant Pepper and Giant George. Whoa! Dinner time! Hooray! So they will have to have real food <gasps> instead. Careful, George! <laughs> a super strike for a super bowler! Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead. Like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa! Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Woohoo! Now you try, Pedro. OK, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. Fun! <laughs> Yay! Woo! 
Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> What's this? Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. Oh. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. <laughs> Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. <laughs> Yummy, tasty food. Yummy, tasty food. Today on the cruise, yum, Peppa yum. and her family are at a very special ah. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh. Oh, goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. And what would you like, George? Juice! Thirsty, are you? I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! Ooh. The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Peppa has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid. Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah. Finish. Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Peppa is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. Mmm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a <gasps> cup of orange juice. <laughs> In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped ah. making oh. orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. Ah. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> That's okay, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now
Now follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? Yoink! It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. <laughs> and how about this one? It's green. So... Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's mm. lots of colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly -umptious. Ooh! But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. Ah, yum! This is orange uh -huh. juice. Juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice, and Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. <laughs> Oh, yes. Today, George is <laughs> buying some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the <gasps> measurer, please. Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow oh. me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you ah. like, George? Shoes. <laughs> Those are bowling shoes. George loves to go bowling and he loves bowling shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! Those are tap dancing shoes. They're very noisy! George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes! They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. George oh. loves clown oh. shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. Oh. Uh, shoes! Shoes! George tries on lots of shoes. Tall ones. Little ones. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! They are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like <gasps> new shoes that are just <laughs> like his old shoes. <laughs> Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! <laughs> George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Hmm. Hmm. 
Today, Ooh. Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese! And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. Camera! Have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Peppa, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say cheese, Mr. Bird. <laughs> cheese! <laughs> <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George <laughs> by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody. <laughs> One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos, and everyone has had a very lovely day. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house? Please? Please? Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Yay! Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Pepper is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The Funhouse mirrors make Peppa and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. 
The Funhouse Tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! And it's very windy. <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Yay! <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Today, Peppa and her family have been at the supermarket. Outside the supermarket is a toy machine. Yay! Ooh! Mandy Mouse has got a toy. Look, Mummy! A yo-yo! Well done, Mandy. Peppa, George, would you like a go on the toy machine? Yes, please. How does it work, Miss Rabbit? You just buy a token and put it in the slot. Then a ball rolls all the way down to the bottom of the machine and there's a <laughs> special surprise toy inside. Dinosaur! George would like to get a dinosaur toy. How fun! You can have one try each. Here you go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! George's token makes the machine light up and play music. A ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. Whoa! Dinosaur! George has got a toy screwdriver. A screwdriver! How useful! Dinosaur! Don't worry, George. I'll try to get the dinosaur too. Now, Pepper's <laughs> token makes the machine light up and a different ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Pepper hasn't got the dinosaur, but she has got some very nice stickers. Dinosaur! What lovely toys you got. <gasps> but look, our ice cream is starting to melt. So close. I have a feeling the dinosaur will come out next time. <laughs> Please, can we have one more go, Mummy? Please? Oh, go on then. <laughs> one more try. Hooray! Peppa and George pull the lever on the toy machine. But this time, no balls pop out. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear, I wanted to see what toy you were going to get. Not to <gasps> worry, Mummy Pig. I can fix it. I just need to find my screwdriver. Nope. Nope. Screwdriver. <gasps> ah, thank you, George. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! <gasps> Whoops. Miss Rabbit has fixed the machine too much. Now all the balls have fallen out. I'd better put these back, but I think you earned this for helping me fix the machine. <gasps> Dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This is for you. Eh? <laughs> Everyone loves the toy machine, and George really loves dinosaurs. George! Tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on then, into your sleeping bags. Quick march. <laughs> Peppa likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. <gasps> you can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. Ooh. 
George, Richard and Edmund <laughs> love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem! Paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. <sighs> Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak! And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. <sighs> oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, <gasps> um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Today, Peppa and her family are going on the night train to a very far away seaside. It's bedtime now. We can play with the beach ball tomorrow at the beach. But I don't want to go to sleep. Well, we're not going to sleep yet. We're having a sleepover. Yay! Yay! Peppa and George <laughs> love sleepovers. Can we have a midnight feast? You need to have a midnight feast at a sleepover, Daddy. It's the rules. Right you are. Follow me! Hooray! <laughs> Everyone has come to the dining carriage to get the midnight feast. Hello! Oh! Hello! What would you like? We'd like a midnight feast, please. One! <gasps> midnight feast coming up! Here you go! Fruit and warm milk. Perfect before a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Mm. Everyone tucks into their midnight feast, gives their teeth a good brush and gets comfy in bed. Can we have a bedtime story? Oh, OK, Peppa. Just one story and then sleep. This is the story of the magic night train. Ooh. Once upon a time, there was a magic night train which didn't need train tracks because it could fly. Peppa had a wonderful dream about a magical night train. Look, we arrived at the seaside. Peppa and her family have arrived 
at the very far away seaside. And they all enjoyed their train sleepover. Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the Botanical Garden. <laughs> One's tall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. These smell lovely. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, and that one is on oh. Daddy's head. <laughs> <laughs> Step right up to the very <gasps> tricky hedge maze. Enter if you dare. What's this, Miss Rabbit? This is a very tricky hedge maze. It's a long, windy path with lots of twisty turns. You have to find the big fountain oh. in the middle. Peppa and George like the sound of the very <laughs> tricky maze. I'm a bit of an expert at mazes. I almost never get lost. <laughs> Good luck. Let's go. Hooray! Peppa and her family are making their way through the maze. It is very windy. Everyone thinks it is very fun indeed. There's nowhere to go. Oh dear. We'll have to go back and try another way, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig? <gasps> Over here, Mummy Pig. George and I must have taken a wrong turn. Uh-oh. Perhaps we should meet at the fountain in the middle. Good idea. <laughs> Race you! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mummy. Oh. More tall flowers. And little ones. <laughs> Peppa and Mummy Pig are having lots of fun in the maze, but Daddy and George are a bit lost. Hmm? <sighs> Not to worry, George. We'll make it as long as we don't give up. Oh, hello, huh? George. The fountain is that way, by the big leafy flowers. Hooray! Off we go! Everyone has arrived at the centre of the maze. Hooray! Well done. You finished the first bit of the maze very quickly. What's the second bit? Finding your way out, of course. <laughs> Peppa and her family loved going into the very tricky hedge maze. And they're really going to love finding their way out again, too. Today, Peppa and her family have come to a concert of Madame Gazelle's band, The Rocking Gazelles. I can't see anything. How about now? Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Gerald Giraffe is also on his daddy's shoulders and is blocking everyone's view. George. Gerald and his daddy have moved to the side, so now everyone can see. With a one and two and one, two, three, four. Yay! Everyone is having a wonderful time. Peppa and Daddy Pig are really enjoying the music. Are you having fun, Peppa? Yes! Are you having fun, George? George? Peppa and Daddy Pig have accidentally ended up in the middle of the crowd. We'll come and find you soon, Mummy Pig. What? I said we'll come and find you soon. But I don't need a spoon. Have fun, George. Whee! Everyone is dancing. It's like being in a big dancing swimming pool. Ho, ho, ho. There are even some inflatable beach balls. Got it. Well done, Peppa. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> oh. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Bull. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Not to worry. Happens all the time. That's okay. I love pop 
music? In fact, it reminds me of my next song. One, two, three, four. Hop, hop, hopping bubbles, hopping bubbles, hopping away. Hop, hop, hopping bubbles, hopping bubbles all day. Hop, hop, hopping bubbles, hopping bubbles, hopping, bubbles, hopping away. Mummy and George Pig have danced all the way to the front of the concert, too. Madame Gazelle has invited Peppa and her family to join them on stage. <laughs> hop, hop, hopping bubbles, hopping bubbles, hopping away. Hop, hop, hopping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Everyone loves Madame Gazelle's concert, and everyone really loves pop pop popping bubbles. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, well done, Edmund. Yay! <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George... Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily! Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today, Peppa and her friends are going to the sweet shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'd like to buy everything in the sweet shop, please. Here is my coin. Peppa and her friends each have one coin to buy a sweet with. Here is my coin too. And mine. And mine. Wow, what a lot of money. But I'm afraid it's not enough to buy everything in the shop. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> One coin is perfect for trying my new sweet-making machines, though. Ooh. Just choose a machine, pop your coin in the slot and push the big red button. Mmm! Strawberry laces! Nay! But strawberries are fruits, 
Not sweets. My sweets are made with delicious real fruit. Much tastier and much healthier. <laughs> Yummy strawberries. They look like hair. <laughs> You're right. I've got a strawberry ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> my turn, my turn. Emily Elephant has found a rainbow lollipop machine. For this machine, you have to push the buttons to choose your favourite fruity flavours. Hmm. Yellow banana. Ooh, you love red apples. And pink raspberries. And blue blueberries. And green apples. <laughs> <laughs> you like all the flavours. <laughs> So fruity! <laughs> Look, it's a big binning ball. <laughs> That's a candy floss machine. Why don't you pop your coin in and give it a go? Ooh, it tastes like coconut. <laughs> it looks just like you, Susie. And now it looks even more like you. <laughs> <gasps> what is that? Only one way to find out. But I thought this was a sweetie machine, not a money machine. <gasps> Can I use this to buy some real sweeties? You don't need to. That coin is a sweetie pepper. It's a chocolate coin. Chocolate! Hooray! Peppa loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. Everyone loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. <laughs> Watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops. Sorry, Pepper. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly Mr Bull, no running. Sorry again. Mr Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh, oh. Have a splendid time, Mr Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right you are, Peppa. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set, go. And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Peppa. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Granny. Hello, Mr. Bull. Oh. 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 They're nearly at the finish line. It's neck and neck. Who will come out on top? It's. Everybody wins! Peppa and her friends love the slides, 
but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Uh, uh -huh. <coughs> no splashing! <laughs> Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. <sighs> hmm. Something else is missing. Oh! Something to eat! <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here, maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's cold! <laughs> There's the ball! Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <sniffs> oh, I can fit through anything. <sniffs> <gasps> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. <sighs> Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For you. <gasps> All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hi! Peppa and her family have come to the balloon shop to collect a special balloon for a garden party. Miss Rabbit! Can we have our fancy planet-friendly recyclable balloon? Whoa. Oh! Wow! Balloon! The balloon shop is full of balloons. Miss Rabbit? <laughs> bonk. Oh. <laughs> bonk. 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 oh, you found me. I've been lost in the balloon since Tuesday morning. Must be lunchtime by now. It's Wednesday, Miss Rabbit. Oh. Anyway, here are all your fancy, planet-friendly, recyclable balloons. <laughs> ready for the party. All? But we only ordered one. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> um, it says here 1,000 balloons for Mummy Pig's party. Oh, but we don't need this many and we can't waste them. What do we do? I know. We can share them. Peppa and her family are giving One, the extra two. balloons to everyone in town. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and one for both of you. Here you go. Red balloon. Green one for you. <laughs> <sighs> Only 992 to go. This is going to take forever. Uh-oh. And we have to go and set up the party. I have a great idea. Grab some balloons and follow me, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> it is time for the party, and everyone is beginning to arrive. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Here's your balloon. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Miss Rabbit has used the balloons to turn the garden party into a balloon party. Miss Rabbit can make anything with a balloon. <laughs> or anyone. Here you go. <laughs> it looks like me. And this one looks like me. <laughs> this is the balloon race. <laughs> 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 If you pop a balloon, because we have lots of extras. Bonk! <gasps> bonk! <laughs> bonk! Bonk! Everyone would have loved Mummy Pig's garden party, but everyone loves the balloon party even more. <laughs> Today, Mummy Pig has brought Dinosaur. Pepper and George for a special <laughs> visit to the toy shop. Hello! I'm looking for a mummy and two little ones for a special toy shop treat. Have you seen them? <gasps> That's us! Is it? Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go! Hooray! Oh! This Whoa. is where you're able to create your very own special toy. Ooh! Just swipe through to choose. You could pick a robot or a princess or a silly monster or a... <gasps> dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you liked dinosaurs. Dinosaur! 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 <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. They're his favourite. I guess we know what he'll be making. Have fun! Yay! Ooh, <laughs> good choice. <laughs> Lovely! <laughs> a spaceman! A monster! A superhero! Peppa and George <laughs> love making their own toys. They both like very different things. Mine is a robot! Dinosaur! Fantastic! Now with a little toy shop magic... <laughs> the machine will make your toys! Lovely! <laughs> now, you just need to pick an outfit for your toys. <laughs> there are lots of different outfits to choose from, but Peppa and George think oh. these outfits are perfect for their new toys. <laughs> Hooray! <gasps> perfect! In they go! Oh dear, the toy machine has put the wrong clothes on the toys. The machine mixed up their clothes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, well, they still look like fun toys to me. And very creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flying is fun. Whee! <laughs> Wait for us, Peppa. Whee! Wow, what is this room? This is a special new toy machine. Whoa. Just stand here in the middle, Peppa. <laughs> what is it doing? Stay still! What was that? <gasps> Ta-da! The machine has made a little toy that looks just oh. like Pepper. Look, George, I'm tiny! <laughs> Whee! <gasps> and so are you! <laughs> Pepper and George love making toys in the toy shop, but George really loves being a toy too. <laughs> Welcome oh. to the ice cream shop. It is a very hot day. So <laughs> Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Uh -huh. Here you go, <sighs> Mr. Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs. Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Oh. Ooh. What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Nana! Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Now, we add ice cream, cherries and whipped cream. Ah. George <laughs> likes adding the ice cream. Careful! 
don't squish the banana. <laughs> <laughs> and Peppa really likes adding whipped cream. <laughs> Don't forget the cherry on top. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, please, could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? A Knockanori? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Oh. Ho, ho. Not that type of sundae. You can eat them any time. Ah. I'll show you. Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, meringue and cream. <laughs> Pepper and George add all the ingredients into the glass. And now you can decorate the top. Yay! Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. Now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm, a rainbow ah, one. Rainbow. Pepper and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for <laughs> banana. Nana! Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pepper and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle. Ah. Not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is... Vanilla! My favourite! <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. Today, Peppa and her classmates are visiting a chocolate factory. Can I try some chocolate, please, Miss Rabbit? You can, Peppa. But we've got to make it first. Oh. <laughs> Peppa is very excited to make chocolate. How do we make it, Miss Rabbit? With this machine. Hello, machine. Can you make me some chocolate, please? <gasps> Thank you, machine. Yay! Now can I try some of it, please? Not yet, Peppa. We need to decorate it first. Follow me! Hooray! Everyone is very excited to decorate the chocolate too. You can decorate one chocolate bar each. Ooh, it looks like a muddy puzzle. <laughs> yes, but don't jump in it, Pepper. And you can add whatever decorations you like from the table as long as it's yummy. Mine is a carroty chocolate bar. <laughs> Delicious! Mine is a cheesy chocolate bar. Squeak! Yum, yum! And mine is a spaghetti chocolate bar. Oh. Because strawberry laces look like spaghetti. <laughs> Phew! Scrumptious! Can I try some chocolate now, please, Miss Rabbit? Almost, Pepper. The chocolate needs to cool in the fridge first. The fridge is very cold and makes the liquid chocolate oh. harden into bars. And done. Yay! Oh. Can we please try some chocolate now, Miss Rabbit? Not yet, Pep. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. <gasps> <Hooray>! <laughs> Hmm, is something wrong, Peppa? No, I just really liked it when the chocolate was all runny like a muddy puddle. Ho oh, ho, oh. then it's lucky I have one more treat for you Yay! all. It's a chocolate fountain. It's just like a giant chocolate muddy puddle. And lots of nice healthy fruit to dip too. Thank 
do, Miss Rabbit? <laughs> Peppa loves muddy puddles, especially when they're made out of chocolate. <laughs> Today, Mummy Pig is going for a relaxing day at the spa. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Mummy Pig. I've got to close early today. I've got the sniffles. Oh, I was really looking forward to my spa day. Why don't we make a spa at home? Oh, that's a great idea, Peppa. Peppa is very good at having ideas. Hello, Mrs Mummy. Welcome to the spa. Oh, <laughs> Peppa has turned the living room into a very wow. special spa. First, we are going to, um... What happens at the spa, Mummy? Well, we normally start with a nice cup of lemon water. I can do that. I'll get you some lemony water, <laughs> Mrs Mummy. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mmm, thank you, Peppa. This is the lemoniest water I've ever seen. What's next? Next, I'd like to have a foot bath. Yay! Hooray! What's a foot bath? It's a very small bath just for your feet. OK, <laughs> time for your very small bath just for your feet, Mrs Mummy. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and Daddy Pig are making their very own <laughs> foot bath. This ought to do the trick. Ah, that's so relaxing. <gasps> Peppa has turned the foot bath into a regular bath. <laughs> Here are the boats you ordered, Miss Peppa. <laughs> you have to have bubbles and toys in the bath. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> I'll suggest this to Miss Rabbit. What's next, Mummy? Next, it's time for a massage. Uh, um... Here, lie down on the sofa and I'll show you how it works. Peppa finds the massage very tickly. Your turn, Mummy. Ooh, <laughs> it's <laughs> very different to my normal massage. It's a special pepper <laughs> massage. Choo choo. Now, the last thing I do at the spa is have a mud mask, which is... A mask made of mud. Yes, a special spa mud that's good for your skin. I don't think we have any special spa mud here, though. <sighs> I've got an idea. Pepper is very, very good at having ideas. We don't need spa mud when we've got muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like muddy puddle face masks. <laughs> Peppa loves a spa day, especially when it involves jumping in muddy puddles. Today, Peppa and her family are exploring an air show. Miss Rabbit is flying a hot air balloon. The sky is full of hot air balloons. Wow, there's so many of them. A cloud, a broccoli, a clown, a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good, George. What's that? That is a biplane, Pepper. What is it doing? Some planes can write messages or draw in the sky. The biplane has drawn a picture of Peppa in the sky. It's me! Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Hamster. Hamster! Thank you for the sky picture! You're very welcome! <laughs> Off I go! What's this? Is that another hot air balloon? This is a blimp. It floats like a balloon, but has little propellers that help it fly along like a plane. Peppa and George think the blimp is very exciting. Would you all like a ride? Blimp, blimp, blimp! blimp. The blimp is taking off into the sky. We're so high up! This is the captain's announcement. In the sky, you'll see a bird. Hello, bird! A cloud. Hello, clouds. 
Oh, and Dr. <gasps> Hamster. Hello again. There's so many buttons. Oh, yes. It takes lots of work to pilot a blimp like this. So please don't press any buttons. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this steering wheel helps move the blimp in different directions. Up and down and side to side. <laughs> and the radio Ooh. lets us make announcements to the whole air show. Ooh, can I make a pronouncement? I have a very important renouncement to make. Of course. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. I'm in a blimp, which is a bit like a balloon, but also a plane. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely time at the air show. Oh dear, we've forgotten one very important oh. thing. A pilot hat <laughs> for Peppa and George. I'm Pilot Peppa. Pilot! <laughs> Peppa loves the air show. Everyone loves the air show. Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! Me! Oh. Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, dear. I think I went a little bit too fast. Now... How do I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie. Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> huh? Mummy Pig is having trouble <gasps> making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh, dear. The car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry, I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Pepper like being towed. Hmm. Aha! Oh dear, I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh good. But 
we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh. Oh. oh, dear. How long will it take? It will take as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. But motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm. Maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this bus? <laughs> ah. Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. Ah. It's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Pepper's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. Today, Pepper and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we'd better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh, no! We're going to get all wet. Not to worry. We can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then... Take the red train! Yes! Well done, Pepper. Off we go! First, Pepper must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Pepper. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train oh. is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Peppa. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. 
the show starts in a few minutes, we might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you. <laughs> no autographs today. Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video <gasps> of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> That means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh, <laughs> very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Ooh. Yum! Peppa has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That was very yummy. <laughs> what else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Pepper. I have a baby in my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. Righto, here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <gasps> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting. So I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more like foot tickles. Oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> There's so many fish, Peppa. <gasps> How did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Pepper? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. <gasps> Come with me, Pepper. <laughs> This long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. 
It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Pepper. Yuck. Oh, Pepper, you must be careful. Yeah. <sighs> the snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Pepper. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Pepper <sighs> practices taking big, deep breaths. <sighs> Do you want to try again? Um, OK. <gasps> I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> And to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Yay! Today is pancake day at Peppa's Playgroup. Ah. Whoa! It's an ice cream! Can we make other pancake pictures? Yes, we can! We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> What are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Hello, Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madame Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. <laughs> Everyone loves Pancake Day. Peppa and Susie Sheep have decided to wear their clothes backwards today. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Susie! Goodbye, Peppa! Oh! Hmm. Peppa, Susie, why are you wearing your clothes 
backwards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and why are you walking backwards? Because today is Backwards Day. You say and do everything backwards. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> 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 well, have fun. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep are chasing each other around the garden backwards. <laughs> You're it. Try to catch me. <laughs> it's very difficult to play games backwards. Where did you go, Susie? Oops. Coming. <laughs> No, let's play backwards in the park. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull is very confused to see Peppa and oh. Susie Sheep skipping backwards. <laughs> Good morning. Why are you going backwards? It's backwards day. We have to do everything backwards. Is it backwards day already? <laughs> I'd better get my backwards drills ready. <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoops! Sorry! Pepper and Susie Sheep spend backwards day playing in the park. Backwards swinging feels the same as forwards. But not all the games are as fun backwards. This is backwards! No, this is backwards. Let's play backwards frisbee. Catch! <laughs> Who would like an ice cream? Yay! Oops, we mean no! no! Oh! <laughs> I see you're having a fun backwards day. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my ice cream backwards. Oops. <laughs> Upside down isn't quite the same as backwards. It's all very confusing. I think backwards day might be over now. Peppa and Susie <laughs> Sheep enjoyed backwards day, but they're very glad that things aren't backwards anymore. <laughs> Peppa and her family are watching a film at the cinema. Wow! Mummy, I need to go to the toilet. Okay, Peppa, we'll go to the one just outside. We're just going to the toilet. The toilet? Good idea. Shh. <laughs> Oops. Oh dear, the toilet is closed for cleaning. But I really need to go. There's a public toilet just down the road. Follow me, everyone. Dinosaur. Peppa and her family have found a ah. toilet. Here's the toilet, Peppa. Let's join the queue. Mm. I'm afraid the queue starts over there. <gasps> but the queue for the toilet is very, very long. I'm not sure I can wait that long. Hmm. There's a toilet in the supermarket. Let's try there. Peppa, Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George look everywhere for a toilet. They try the supermarket. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh! They try the zoo. Ah. Sorry, Peppa. This toilet needs fixing. Oh. They even try a toilet shop. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, but these toilets are for display purposes only. There are no toilets anywhere. <laughs> Oh dear, now I need the toilet too. So do I.
<laughs> Look, the cinema toilet is open again. Hooray! <laughs> Finally, Peppa and her family are back to watch the film. <gasps> but now the film has ended. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to watch it from the start. Does anyone need the toilet first? <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the museum. Look, George, this dinosaur has a sister, and a mummy, and a daddy. It's a whole family of dinosaurs. <laughs> Peppa loves the museum, but it is now closed. Thanks for coming. See you soon. But I don't want to leave. We don't have to leave, Peppa. Tonight, we are having a sleepover at the museum. Ooh. Hooray! Oh. Oh. What shall we do first on our sleepover? Hmm. Let's have a midnight feast. Yum, yum. Dig in, everyone. Huh? Oh, this orange is rather hard. Oh. All the food in the midnight feast is made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> what shall we do next, Peppa? Huh? Peppa? Mummy Pig can't see where Peppa has gone. Here I am. <laughs> I am a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking. Grr. Viking. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking. Uh, I mean a woolly mammoth. <laughs> Everyone is having lots of fun running away from the woolly mammoth. But all this chasing has made everyone quite tired. Oh, I think it's time for bed. Let's find a nice spot to go to sleep. <laughs> Good night, everyone. It is now morning and lots wow. of visitors have come to the museum. Oh, whoop, look at these Vikings, Granddad! Moo! What a great mammoth! It looks so lifelike! Everyone thinks Peppa and her family are part of the museum. Uh, huh? What's going on? Uh. Well, that's not a Viking! That's Peppa! Oh dear, it looks like we didn't just sleep over at the museum. But we overslept. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Peppa, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you. For you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your teeth, <laughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um, um, go to the dentist? That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me, 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 me. Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea! <laughs> Peppa is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <gasps> Why do I need glasses, Mrs Peppa? For this big light. 
please open wide like this. Ah! Uh, so I can see your teeth. Ah! Uh. Peppa is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr. Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Well done, Peppa and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um, um, uh, we can brush our teeth. That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! <laughs> Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> <laughs> then, we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the side, tops and bottoms. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. Oh, Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist and Peppa really likes stickers.